Hi, I'm Jeff Johnson, and this is The Takeaway. This is The Takeaway, recorded September 11th, 2016. No team starts out wanting to lose. Today at San Jacinto Assembly, we, uh, we kicked off. And we recognize that not only is the football season starting today uh, in earnest with all the teams playing, but uh, we are walking into a very powerful season. And I'm inviting you to join us on a journey over the next five months. Uh, Philippians says this out of chapter 3, forgetting what is behind and straining. Now, there's two great things that are going on there. First of all, we, we can't live in the past. Sure, we have to deal with some of the things in our past, but we can't live there. But we also have to strain toward what is ahead. Sometimes it's hard work to move ahead. But I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. You know, the fact of the matter, every team prepares. Uh, a, a team doesn't show up on Sunday to play and, and, and they haven't practiced or they haven't gone over the plays or the signals or, or going over s different scenarios or, or watching uh, game tape of the other team. They come in fully prepared and now they go out there and they have to execute. Folks, it's time for the church to execute too. It's time for you as a believer to take that which God has poured into your life today and begin to move the ball forward in your life and be that, be purposed and do that which God has called you to do. And there's so much that we can do and there's things that we can physically do, but the battle we have to understand isn't just physical. There is a spiritual battle going on and that battle, whether we want to recognize it or not, is a significant one. Ephesians 6, 12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. So I want to talk to you about how we can move the ball forward today. I want to talk to you about what it means to be on a championship team. I want to talk to you about what it means to, to, to win uh, for the kingdom of God. First of all, we have to recognize that worship is beyond one dimension. There's two things that go on within our churches today. First of all, there's one whole group that uh, for them the music is too loud or it's too new and they don't know the words. And then there's another part of the group that uh, you know it's not long enough, it's not loud enough and everything else. Folks, we have to recognize that worship is not built on bias and worship is not built on just a scenario. Worship for us is, is to be all-encompassing. So it's not just a song we sing, but it's how we live our lives. And, and, is, and, and, and in our churches, we have some people that want to wave their hands in worship, and then you got other people that are just going to fold their arms and everything else. And I, I, I want people to understand that worship is about vocally praising God. And you can vocally praise God outside of, uh, outside of a service. You can be driving in your car and vocally just speak out loud and say, God, I love you. God, you are amazing. That is worship. So we have to recognize that it's more than just the worship service on a Sunday. It's what we do in our lives. That's what Romans 12, 1 and 2 talk to us about. Secondly, we need to grow towards something. Christ said that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Now, we often talk about that in regards to the workers, but Scripture says that the harvest is plentiful. In other words, there are people out there that need Him. There are people out there that need Jesus today. There's no shortage of that. But then we go to the second part of the verse, but the workers are few. See, we have to understand that uh, as a church and as individuals that we need to start putting stuff on the scoreboard. We need to have goals. And our goals here at San Jacinto Assembly are very significant. We are believing in the next five months for 150 uh, folks to give their lives to Jesus. And that equal number to, uh, to be baptized in water and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We are also believing for an increase in our attendance of 250 folks. That means we're going to have to add another service. But we believe that now is the time and that goes on the scoreboard. We also know that that in order to continue growing we need to serve and we need to increase the ranks of our team and we need to backfill some key positions and we need to uh, move others into key positions as others um, step back from something or they want to change how they're uh, serving in the church and so there are all kinds of ways to serve and we just need to do that and, and, the, and, and the breadth of those opportunities cover the gamut and some just need 15 minutes a week and some would need more but there's something for everyone. And the whole idea of go, well, if we only practice church inside the walls of the church, then we're missing the whole point. 
and we need to go. We've been very active the last few points or a few months of finding key points in our city to go pray. Uh, we've done that at the police station. We've done it at the schools. We've done that at something called Five Corners and some other places. And we have to recognize that in doing that, uh, we are beginning to lay uh, down spiritual roots and that will bear fruit. And we've already seen that happen in a relationship that is uh, form, getting better and forming with the school and that with our local police department. And then finally, the idea of connect. Not everyone that watches these is uh, here at San Jacinto Assembly. But we, we introduced the whole idea of, of, uh, of small groups today and people getting in huddles and uh, doing something significant. I also talked about something called Man Uncaved. And that's for, specifically, that's for men and for them to get involved. And, and that's a video phone call uh, and a conference. And, and it's about 25 minutes long. And, and if you would like to be involved in that, you can email us here at the church and we'll get you involved. But we need to connect people. We need to be smaller sometimes before we can be bigger. It's not when we're going to have a need in our life. It's, it's just, it's a, it's, you know, or it's not if, it's just when. And things come along, and I'll tell you, it's so much easier to have a church family when something is going off the rails. I can speak from experience in this. And so, folks, I want to challenge you today that you are to be a part of a championship team. You are designed to win. And because of that, I, uh, one thing you can do right now that gets you on the game uh, field is to go ahead and share this video today. Share this on Facebook. Share it with, with everyone you can. Because when you do that, you help take this message out literally to thousands of people. So your one simple act of sharing this video uh, carries incredible weight for the kingdom. Hey, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. And this is The Takeaway.